what got you triggered this morning? No, I just, uh, there's another viral Vans challenge. Another? Believe, uh, after the damn Daniel, I believe that both of them are created by Vans. You think so? Yeah, conspiracy hat. I don't think either of them are actually organic marketing. If anyone from Vans wants to actually say that I'm wrong, come say that I'm wrong. Um, I also tweeted this morning that the real Vans challenge should be throwing the sneakers in the trash can. Whew. What about the Spezial challenge? Can we can we see if those land upright? Uh, there you go, one right there. Uh, Let's see. Let's do a Spezial challenge. Yo! Do best out of three, so it's not a fluke. We gotta keep it in frame so that people know that we didn't do any manipulation to it. All right, go. Damn. Did that work? <laughs> yeah, Spezial challenge. These are better than Vans. Okay, Billie Eilish episode is out. Go watch that. Plug, plug, plug. I already know what it is. Can we get a, a teaser for next week or? No teasers. Okay. Okay. Surprise, always. Supplies? Always. Drip or drown though. Oh, oh, uh, oh, Wait, oh. Hold on though. They still cow. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. What's good? Do we believe in the Vans challenge? No, I don't even wear Vans, so who cares? <laughs> okay. Seriously, I don't care about that shit. So the last video we made was about the Lakers, Lakers and LeBron. Yeah. Will they make the playoffs? No. Some people were calling us stupid for not knowing sports. We don't know sports but by saying that the Lakers won't make the playoffs and they're having a horrible season. Thank you. I'm glad. Please. I that, that's fine. Listen, I you're responding for me. Thank for you. For one, I don't get paid to talk about sports. Two, it's Facts. solely based on my opinion. Facts. Three, I've been watching basketball for like. Pfft, I'm 36. I've been watching basketball over 20 something years. I think I know enough to, to have seen this coming. Well, not seen this coming, but to know what's going to happen. Like, nah, they're not making the playoffs. They should have never drafted Lonzo Ball. I would have drafted De'Aaron Fox over Lonzo Ball. I would have drafted. Um, you think you think Magic fell into peer pressure? I don't think he fell into peer pressure. I feel I feel like he he fell into like troll pressure, like he got trolled. Like and not to say that Lonzo's not talented, because Lonzo's talented, but he's not good enough to be a Laker at all. This the same. His father was talking all of that Laker shit, and then he's like, man, he needs to go to Phoenix. No, he's just not good for that team. He can't play in whatever system that they're trying to build. I think that Luke Walton. Um, you think he's getting fired? Yeah, I think he sh I, I think he should be out of there. Like seriously, I think Luke, Luke Walton should be out of there. I mean, I think that it would be good for him to be a part of the the, the coaching staff because he has a wealth of knowledge and he's a champion. Like everybody's That's still true. gonna make tons of money. The thing is, is that I don't think that Luke Walton has the experience to to to. Uh, push that team or LeBron led team. LeBron is a very, very strong personality aside from just a player. So you can't just, if you can't stand up next to LeBron, you're not going like, it's going to be tough. I think LeBron's best coach might have been Tyron Lue. Is TJ Porter practicing that step back? TJ Porter better practice on some goddamn music, man. I don't give a damn about no basketball. <laughs> TJ Porter ain't no damn basketball. He is a basketball player, but when he ain't in no leagues, he signed a Def Jam. He playing the, uh, uh, the, the, the professional music league. He better get this music out. I'm going to come clean. It's like, they good. These, I don't have these bitches for like four years, and they still, they need to re-release them. See, certain shit, they should come out with every season. Like these, the water don't get into my shit. Look, it's got fur on the inside, like Sherpa. So you can't go wrong. They like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Beep, beep, Just walk the video and shit. Beep, beep, beep. beep. Okay, back to it. No, so yeah. Rex. But I like how you try to play me. My shit yeah. cozier and more warm and I gotta worry about it like you do. Uh, that's true. Oh, hold on, what's this? Hold on. I haven't showed the clip of this yet. This is... Just for the Longhorns. Yeah. yeah it's, Look at horns, bro. It's a Corona Longhorns. I think it's this side. It's this side? Okay. So just pull this out there. We go. Right there. Thank you for your interest in Corona Extra Texas Longhorn Shoe. Hope you dig these as much as we do. They're limited edition custom shoes designed as prizes for the Texas Longhorns. Let's do this. Wow, it's actually cold. This is weird. Right? Look, it's not ice. Technically, we could put these in like um, like a little black velvet. Oh, we could. We could shoot like a total spy video. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Right. They look like diamonds, but they're not. A little bit of that. Is it a Jordan? It's a Jordan. It's a Jordan, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's a custom pair of Air Jordan 3s. Look at that. Holy smokes. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, uh, 
I know Olga read this earlier, but let me go through all the details because I think you have a chance to win a custom pair of these as well. So it says, Tony, thank you for your interest in the Corona Extra slash Texas Longhorn shoe. I hope you dig these as much as we do. These are limited edition custom shoes were designed as a prize for the Corona Texas Longhorns horns up sweet steaks in Texas and combine the best of both iconic brands. The base shoe was all white, then hand painted with pearlescent Pacific blue and lime green accents to represent Corona. The tongues were handmade with calf embroidered and burnt orange lambskin backing. So uh, if you guys want more details on the sweepstakes, they didn't list the details here, but I'm pretty sure if you do a quick Google search, look up Corona USA, there should be a lot more details. I think it has something to do with March Madness. I could be wrong, I don't know, but we shall see. This detail is crazy. So that's the beach right here. Pacific blue. A little paint chipping, but that just gives it character. All right, let's take this van challenge a little further with some Air Force. Okay? Oh. Best out of three. Two for two. This one? Oh. Does that count? Oh. Hold on, one more time, one more time, one more time. <laughs> no interference. Oh no, we, we gotta try it with some Tim's. We need to find somebody with some Tim's. Great, now it just dirty, dirty kicks. By the way, I'm giving these away. All right, so we found Cal who's wearing some Tim's. <laughs> it's, it's, it's snow day, what you want me to do? Yeah, so if you can do us the honors and take those off and just toss Chuck them? Yeah, just chuck them and see if they land upright. All right, oh, we'll see. Socks, Best out of three, all yeah, right? Which I know about these socks, so shout out oh. to Eddie Murphy. Um, yeah, just get some good rotation on them. Ooh, failed. Ooh. First try failed. Two out of three? Hold Two on. out of three, all right. I don't want to hit anybody, let's see. Damn. I don't think it's going to work. So do I do a third one now? No, I think it's failed. Let's try one more Best time. Best one more. Oh, well. well, before we get to this van challenge thing, People need to know, dirty. is your ankle okay? My ankle is fine, you guys. Okay. According to the van challenge, if you flip, flip your vans, they're supposed to land upright every single time. Okay. We're gonna try to break this. So we'll do best out of three. Okay. And go. Oh, that's one. <laughs> no, no, There's no way. We will say this, off camera, it, did it, not it land. didn't land. It didn't. Should I do it one, one more time? One more time. Try it separately. Oh, yeah. There you go. Ha ha ha. I will say this, Vans is a genius because it's gotten everyone to participate in this. Even if you think it's corny or not, they've created a buzz. So, bravo. That's if Vans was the mastermind behind this challenge. I believe that both of them are created by Vans. You think so? Yeah, conspiracy hat. I don't think either of them are actually organic marketing. If not, then whoever created this challenge, kudos to you. Final words? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Bye.